All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between normally open and normally closed uh, proximity sensors here. Uh, I have an inductive and a capacitive, one on each side. Uh, but the internal wiring or mechanism that it's activated is different. So, like I said, one is normally open and one's normally closed. That's normally closed, that's normally open, the inductive is. And you, I'm going to show you in here in a couple seconds what that means, but how it's triggered and what kind of voltage it sends and how this kind of relates to a 3D printer. So let's, uh, let me zoom in here. Hopefully you guys can see the, uh, my, uh, the multimeter there. What you're looking at is the voltages. So I'm going to start with the inductive sensor. And I actually have this wired already to my uh, to 14 volts. I'm going to put my positive probe on the sensor. So right now I'm actually getting 14.3 volts. So sometimes it, it, it kind of it's kind of sounds like it would be opposite sometimes, but it reminds me of like open loop, closed loop in like a in an automotive terms for like the uh, O2 sensor. But let me show you real quick. So right now. This thing is not triggered, not activated. You don't see an LED down there. And because this is an inductive sensor, it only actually picks up metal. So let me show you the difference here. Once it's activated, I go down to less than a volt. So unactivated, it's sending the full current through. Activated, less than a volt. So this would basically tell your 3D printer that, uh, okay, now this is my bed. So personally, this is not the one I would normally want to use for uh, a three. D well, you can depending if you're running like a, run like an aqua coupler or not. But there's different ways to wire this in. So this actually was sent to me by my, by, by mistake, and uh, because originally we were supposed to send me this capacitive one, and they sent me the inductive sensor. But okay, active. The normally open sensor when it's active, it has no voltage when it's active. All right. So typically on a, on a 3D printer, at least mine, by stock, it would send 5 volts. Uh, and that, that'll be another video, like, why well, you can't you can't send 14 volts to the, or 12 volts to your to your board, it'll fry it out. So your board is expecting 5 volts back in return, once it, the Z-axis has been, or Z, or could be whatever axis, is triggered. And 3D printers, usually Z-axis, would be triggered, and would send a 5 volt signal back to the, the, the board, and that's how it knows it's it's trigger, but let me show you the. Uh, I know I'm kind of rambling here. Let me let me show you the uh, normally closed sensor. Okay. Um, let me try to get this in there correctly. So right now, this thing's unactivated, and I'm getting zero volts. Right. So now I'm getting 14 volts. So when it's activated, it sends back the the trigger. I mean, obviously, I can't send 14 volts back to the actual 3D board printer or 3D board, 3D printer board, because it would fry it out. It's expecting 5 volts. But in another video, maybe tomorrow, I'll, I'll demonstrate a thermocoupler. Not thermocoupler, but an octocoupler, sorry. And why you actually want to use that instead of this. So, cool, see? Now, some people have actually lowered the voltage down to 5 volts. Let me show, I'm going to do that on my. my uh, from what I read, is it gets very unreliable. So I'm at six volts right now. It gets unreliable at the certain volts, right? See, now, now it's not even reliable. It's, it, it requires me to be right on top of it to pick it up. So, if I'm going to go down to five volts, the, by the way, the, the spec on these sensors is six volts. The minimum is six volts, so, see that? At six volts, it doesn't even work. That's why you actually need to run an aqua coupler, because these things need at least a minimum of 12 volts to be uh, accurate. So I'm gonna bring this back up to 12 volts, and you can go up to 36 volts. Okay, so I'm back at like 13.8 now. See? So the trick to only sending five volts back to a 3D board printer is to have an aqua coupler, but I'll show you that. But uh, yeah, that's the difference between open and closed loop is one sends voltage when it's not activated and one actually sends voltage when it's activated. Alright, cool.